And Joe Biden pledges the U.S. will work with the Southeast Asian nations. Foreign Minister and uh, President of the COP27, Samer Shukri, announced the launch of the Egyptian Presidency Initiative for the COP27 Conference on the Climate Change and Sustainable Peace. Shukri also met with the American Minister of Agriculture, reviewing a number of uh, files of mutual interest. The details follow. Foreign Minister and President of the COP27 Conference, Sameh Shukri, participated in the launch of the Egyptian Presidency Initiative for the COP27 Conference on Climate Change and Sustainable Peace. During the event, Shukri stressed the initiative is the only of its kind that deals with the relationship between climate change and peace in a way that reflects Egypt's constructive efforts in promoting multilateral action. In his speech, the President of the COP explained that the initiative will be implemented through a number of axes represented in strengthening the link between the climate change and peace through climate resilient food systems, pushing sustainable solutions to the problem of displacement due to climate change as well as on accelerating the mobilization of climate finance to sustain peace. Shukri also met with the indigenous peoples delegation as the foreign minister stressed on the importance of maintaining the dialogue and exchange of views between COP president and indigenous peoples delegation to ensure that their voices are reflected in the COP outcomes. Meanwhile, Egypt's top diplomat held a meeting with the American Minister of Agriculture, Thomas Vilsack, in which he stressed the importance of agriculture to achieve food security, which is witnessing a global crisis in the light of the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, as well as the negative repercussions of climate change. Foreign Ministry Spokesperson Ambassador Ahmed Abu Zaid said the U.S. Minister hailed the call for peace launched by President Abdel Fattah Sisi to end the war, which had its negative impacts on the whole world. For his part, Shukri praised the strategic cooperation between Egypt and the United States, hailing bilateral technical cooperation in the field of organic agriculture. Abu Zaid added that Vilzak pointed to the keenness of the American side to actively participate in the COP27 different activities, reviewing the U.S. initiatives launched during the gathering, which aim at dealing with the hunger and climate change files via collecting necessary funds. Meanwhile, the special U.S. envoy for climate, John Kerry, said that a number of partnerships were announced in Sharm el-Sheikh to support the international and the regional climate action as part of the ongoing COP27 conference. The details. The U.S. special climate envoy, John Kerry, said on Saturday that a few countries have resisted mentioning the global goal of limiting warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius in the official text of the COP27 summit in Egypt. He added that Egypt does not intend to be the country that holds the retreat from what was achieved in Glasgow, referring to last year's COP summit in Scotland. World governments agreed in 2015 during a UN summit in France to try to limit the average global temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius, a deal dubbed the Paris Agreement that was seen as a breakthrough in the international climate ambition. Greenhouse gas emissions have been rising ever since, however, and the scientists say that the world risks missing the target without swift and deep cuts. Breaching the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold risks unleashing the worst consequences of the global warming. Already, the world has warmed more than 1.1% from the pre-industrial average temperature, fueling extreme weather that is already delivering steep economic losses. Many developing countries have demanded the establishment of a loss and damage fund that could disperse cash to countries struggling to recover from the disasters. Kerry said that the United States would not support establishing such a fund and instead believed the existing platforms should be used. Democratic lawmakers spent the last few days at the summit trying to bolster the U.S. commitment to the climate goals and reassure the countries that Washington will deliver on the promises pledged at the previous uh, climate summits.
Within the activities of the COP27 Climate Conference, the Adaptation and the Agriculture Day, the Minister of Environment, the Ministerial Coordinator and the Envoy of the COP27, Yasmin Fuad, participated in the opening session of the day entitled Adaptation, Agriculture and Food Security in the presence of the Minister of Planning and the Economic Development, Hala Saeed, and the Minister of Agriculture and Land Reclamation, Sayyid Al Qusir. During the session, Fuad stressed the need to focus on the issue of adaptation and not only on agriculture and food security, as the year 2022 was full of climate disasters. Global reports indicate that more than 173 million people will suffer from drought, as well as 43 million people will live in poverty. During the session, the Minister of Agriculture launched the Food and Agriculture Initiative for Sustainable Transformation, the FAST, while the Planning Minister announced the launch of a Decent Life Initiative in Africa. To another session in the COP27 conference entitled Climate Justice and Environment. The session took place in the Green Zone with the participation of the Coordination of Parties Youth and Politicians, the National Dialogue Members and the Egyptian Center for Strategic Studies. The session discussed the climate change causes, especially the Industrial Revolution and its increasingly negative impacts on developing countries. In addition, the participants tackled the failure of the developed countries to meet their commitments of affording $100 billion to face the global phenomenon. And still with the, the COP27 activities, an initiative led by the United States and the United Arab Emirates to help agriculture adapt to the climate change and reduce the emissions through innovation has doubled the investment commitments to $8 billion and extended its reach.